Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and I'm back from the dead. Um, it's been a long time. Not really sure. That's not it. I kind of forgot what I was doing. I remember we had to go to Japan, and, uh, oh wow. Huh. <laughs> Last time I played this game was the 9th of January. Wow, it's been almost three months. Um, the truth is, um, it's kind of a long story, but, uh, I, uh, hold on a second. Okay. Let's restart the mission. There we go. <clears throat> um, right, so, uh, the truth is, these next, uh, few levels kind of broke me, in addition to being very busy. So I kind of just said, fuck it, and gave up. But I'm back now. And we can finish this game so I can move on to something new for the summertime. There we go. If you're following the something awful thread, um, I'm not going to be updating that again. Pretty sure it's probably in archives by now or something. And no one was really following it anyway, so whatever. Okay, so I'm going to wait for these guys to turn around... Actually, I spent a long time trying to perfect uh, perfect the correct way to do this without getting caught. Um, I hope I remember how to do it. Okay, so we're going to run through this way here. And that guy won't see us. We'll run through here. So, basically the... Uh <clears throat> oh, really? Oh, okay. Basically, the, uh, the goal of this mission is to, one, murder someone, and two, actually here, and two, uh, to plant a tracking bug on the dead body of the person we murder so we can get to someone else and murder them as well. Basically, a, a Yakuza boss, uh, woohoo, nice, aw, oh, man. I didn't miss a step. I was afraid it'd be rusty. So anyway, um, right. Yox is a boss. He hides. He's very, uh, he's very elusive. We don't know where he is. And we're going to find him by murdering his son. There we go. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So anyway, um, Japan... I've probably mentioned this already, but I studied Japanese for a while. I was thinking about going back to studying Japanese, you know, um, since my life here in the United States has been pretty much a failure. You know. But, uh, well, I actually started studying Chinese instead. Why? I don't know. It's not a bad language, though. Okay, so we want to go in this room here. Close the door, because we're going to get naked. Oh, wait. No, that's the wrong place. Um, shit. Oh, right, through this door. Okay. Okay. Right, there we go. And we want to get dressed. I hope we still have enough time. Um, because, honestly, the timing for this strategy is pretty tight. Now, uh, the, thing, the strange thing about this is we're dressed as a chef, and uh, the other chef who's around here somewhere um, won't realize that we're... Uh, shit, okay. Won't realize that we are, you know, not supposed to be here. I mean, really, what, what's strange about some random white guy cooking for a Japanese gangster, right? Um, okay. But the guards, on the other hand, will recognize us right away as someone who's not supposed to be here. I don't know why that is. So, I'm putting the transmitter and the poisoned uh, part of the fugu fish in, in the sushi. And, uh, oh shit. Okay. So this stupid fucking lady gets really paranoid when she sees us. And... Okay, so she's going to walk back and take the sushi again, but it's going to take a little longer for some reason. 
We don't want to follow her in there because she... Oh, fuck. Um, right. Like I said, the guards are very suspicious of the chef for some reason. I don't know why that is. Okay. I'm going to look through keyholes. Who, who does that? I mean, how many... Okay, there she goes. <laughs> this guy tried to open the door and then this gave up when it wouldn't open. Okay. Oh, shit. Um. Where's it going? Right. Uh, how many doors have keyholes that you can look through, anyway? You know, I actually live in a pretty old house. And, uh. Even in that really old ass house, um. There's like, uh. There's like, there's no way you can, uh, there's no way you can actually look through the keyhole. I mean, it just doesn't work, you know? Um, can't really see much either. Okay, so, I don't really remember whether or not the guards mind you being outside. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it is Hitman after all. Alright, our exit is over there by the gate. Um, of course, it's going to take a little while for, uh, what's-his-face, uh, I don't know, that guy to die, whoever, whoever it is we're trying to kill. Oh, God. What have I been doing with my life? Okay, I'm going to hide in this bush like Far Cry. Okay. Okay. I think that means that our friend has died. And by our friend, I mean the person we were sent here to kill. Alright. Oh, I, I wonder if this is really an effective way of hiding in this game. I mean, I don't... Um, hmm. I didn't know you could hide in bushes in this game. Alright. Actually, okay. I think we can escape now. Nice. All right. Yeah, we finished. Oh man, you know, <laughs> actually, uh, what? Wait, one alert? How, what? Huh. Well, I still got Silent Assassin. Um, right. So, like I was saying before, I'm kind of surprised at how smoothly it went. Um, I remember a few months ago playing this this part over and over again, trying to figure out how to uh, how to finish the game properly. Or something. Um, right. Okay, so I'm Nick Meister, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to try to get this game done as quickly as possible. Because fuck this game. Seriously. All right. 47. This is Diana from Agency. We've been monitoring the small tracking device in the late Hayamoto Jr. We managed to track down Hayamoto Sr. thanks to your fine work. We're quite excited since Hayamoto hasn't been registered in public for more than 15 years. He emerged at one of his castles in central Japan. This makes it a very tricky assignment. You must make your way through some very tough security and bypass a lot of electronic surveillance in order to access the castle undetected. You might need to take out the power grid to the alarm units. The whole area is studded with tripwires, guards, substations, alarm units, guard towers, etc. Strategic planning is extremely important. All their systems are on high alert, so consider your moves in there. Your equipment is hidden in a truck just outside the entry gates. When you get the equipment, we'll brief you on the position of alarm units as well as guard movements. 47, I repeat, find the truck with equipment, wait for our briefing, get to the castle undetected, and take out the castle alarm before entering. Okay, so... <clears throat> with that briefing from Diana. Let's take a look at the footage here. Alright. Oh, such a tragedy. A father outliving his son. Oh, boy. He is so sad. Hmm. I wonder if real-life Japanese gangsters really just dress up all Japanesey. You know what I mean? Because... I mean, normal Japanese people just wear normal clothes. Get off me, I'm pissed off that my son died. 
Oh, boy. Okay. So anyway, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but I was really frustrated trying to record these past few levels, okay? And I, uh, and I gave up, basically. I said, you know what? I've got more important things to do than playing video games for the internet, so I gave up. Um, anyway, we're going to start over here somewhere, I think. Our stuff is here. And then we've got to get all the way over here. Now, uh, this level is, in a lot of ways, kind of like the, the absolution levels I was complaining about earlier last year. Last summer, actually. Because uh, this is mostly a sneaking mission. Um, if you get caught, you're screwed. Actually, the level after this game... Um, okay, so there's the truck. The stuff won't actually be in the truck, though, so I don't know what they're talking about. And for some reason, there's blood on it, or tomato sauce. I don't know, it's 47 like, uh, it's 47 like, uh, pasta sauce. I don't know. Okay. So anyway, um, let me get my bearings here. First thing about this level is that there are snipers. Hold on a second. There's a sniper in that window right there. Hold on a second. Oh, fuck. Alright. Okay. Right. Fuck, can't... There he is, right there. Now, <clears throat> as 47, he, uh... He will see us and he will shoot us. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta hide behind these trees. It's pretty simple. I'm not sure if um, when the sniper sees you that counts as being spotted. I think it might. So if it does and he does see you, then you're gonna have to play the game over again if you want to get the perfect score. I'm gonna tell you guys right off the bat, I'm absolutely not interested in, in getting perfect score anymore in this game. I just want to finish it. Okay. So anyway, um, let's get this guy. Hold on a second. Ah, gotcha, you piece of shit. There you go. Just go to sleep. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There. All right. I'm pretty sure they'll see him if we leave him way out oh. here. So let's drag him to the corner. Okay. Um... Now, it's really important that we get this guy's outfit, because that way we can just run past snipers without having to worry about getting shot. Because I think... I'm not sure, but I think the, uh... Yeah, see, there's nothing in here, as far as I can tell. Yeah, nothing in there. Okay. Um, right. So anyway... We don't have to worry about the snipers anymore now that we're dressed up as a ninja. But, what we do have to worry about are all the guards wandering around. Shit. We gotta get to here, folks. We gotta get to here. Um. Getting past these guys is really tricky. I don't know what's in the water in Japan, but these guys are very perceptive. And they can tell that you're not one of them from over 100 yards away in a blizzard. Yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but there you go. I was watching a speed run of this particular level, you know, a few months ago, trying to trying to figure out a good way to get through the stage. But um, he did some very obscure stuff, like he shot this guy with an arrow but didn't kill him and caused him to reset his, his patrol route or something. It was very tricky. And it wasn't something I was interested in doing, especially since I'm doing, you know, live playthroughs of these games. Alright. Now there's one more guy. Wait, did I take the wrong... Shit. Fuck. Okay. Oh. Huh. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Took a wrong turn there. <laughs> Little bit of wishful thinking on my part. Okay. We got a scope on this. Just gonna 
I'm just gonna wait for him to turn around. I really don't want to spend the whole level running around, running away from enemies. Oh, what the f- You gotta be kidding me. Hold on a second. Nice. Dropped him. Fuck you, asshole. I mean, how is that even possible? He wasn't even looking at me. He was looking somewhere else. Doesn't make any sense. So, like I'm saying before, if you want to, uh, get a perfect run through this game, well, prepare to be frustrated, because this level's bullshit. You know, I'm just gonna kill this guy. I, uh... Nice. I'm, I'm on fire with this weapon today. You know, uh, normally I have a lot of trouble getting one-hit kills with this weapon. Seems like even when you get headshots, sometimes they don't die if you don't hit them straight on, but... Um, I don't know, I feel like I got really lucky those last two shots. <laughs> now we're gonna head down here. There's one guy who's gonna be in our way. Alright. I have a weapon, but it's unsilenced, so I'd rather not use it. Right. You know, I'd really like to go to Japan someday, not just because I study the language, but I also hear that the, the wilderness there is quite lovely. Alright, let's go down here. Da, 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 da. Just climbing down the ladder. You know, you think these guys that have gloves too, not just little Japanesey things. Okay, there's a guy on the other side of the door. Um, it is possible to sneak past him, but uh, I mean, his patrol route is so slow. It's kind of uh. What? He opened the door, but he didn't... Huh, that's weird. Boosh! Yeah. You got knocked the fuck out, sir. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to dress in black. Hold on a second. There we go. Yeah. So... There is a way to sneak through here that involves jumping in the back of a truck. Oh, shit, here it is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck. No, no, no. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I think I'm doing it right. I think I'm doing it right. I think I'm doing it right. Um, because there are checkpoints. You know, hold on a second. Right, so these guys won't check, but these guys here will. So we want to get out of the truck um, by the time we reach here. Then we're going to sneak back up here. And doing this... Um, shit. The reason we're doing this is because... Uh, Yame! Yame! Oh, fuck. Okay. Come on, Jedi! Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yame! Yame! Fuck you! Ah. What I'm atiendi owning is. There. There you go. Shit. Okay. That could have been worse. I think we could have got stuck in a huge firefight. Alright. So, if things had gone correctly, I would have ducked behind those those boxes instead of pointing things out on the map like a dumbass, and we would have gone through, more or less, undetected, but, uh, well, it didn't quite work out that way. Alright. So anyway, like I said, we took that underground part there to, hold on a second, to avoid this part here, which is pretty much impossible to, hold on a second. Okay, we're going this way. <clears throat> it's pretty much impossible to, to sneak through up up top, you know? <laughs> There's just way too many dudes. Yeah, so. Guards are looking for a suspicious ninja. Wonder who that could be, hmm? Now, um... I played the last level and this level back-to-back, -back, but... This, uh, this next stage coming up, I can't do because I've never done it before. 
and you you have to absolutely have to get through undetected. If you if you trip an alarm at all, then the the mission's automatically failed. So I need to figure out how to do that first. So uh, I'll I'll see you then. This is Nick Meister signing out.